Happy Monday. <laughs> top of the morning. Top of the morning. Oh Dylan my God. Dylan Wilder Ridge. Yeah. We are going to be hanging out with some friends today. Yeah. So. If you saw our last vlog, um, we had some friends that were going to be coming up here. And that's our plan today. Just hang out with them. And unless we get a load. Unless, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks because we got we want to hang out with them, but we got to kind of babysit the Qualcomm to listen for loads that come across. For those who don't know what a Qualcomm is, it's load offers come across on it. It's what we use to do our hours of service and stuff like that. And actually, I think they're called Omni Tracks now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I keep, I keep saying I'm so used to saying Qualcomm yeah. that I yeah. forget it's Omni Tracks. It's Omni Tracks now. Yeah. yeah. We've got some steaks we're going to be grilling out. That's the plan anyway. Like I said, unless we get a load. It's money comes first yeah but yeah they both got loads already lined up so mm -hmm. and, and it's cool i mean both of them drive for fedex but they get their alerts to their phone lucky I know. lucky dogs I wish landstar. landstar has load alerts but it's all stuff off of their load board the load board right generally for us it's not paying enough yeah so, yeah we like to watch the loads that come on the qualcomm because those are the majority of the loads that we do unless agents call us directly but yeah, we are excited to hang out with them yeah. and have a nice day. We won't probably film anything just because we want to enjoy our time with them. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. We'll, and tomorrow, I think we're going to be heading up the hill. Yeah, up the grapevine. Yep. There's but, a rest area and a Flying J up there. Yeah, they got an RV dump there that we're going to use. And we're going to go to the Flying J. And I still haven't installed that roof fan on the bathroom yet. I mean, it's a 45-minute job at if tops. That, yeah, it's At it's tops. Easy. Yeah, it's, it's and a, I've done two of them already. So. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's your third one. We I, should have I, it down by now. I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing uh, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Somebody, one, another one of our friends had called you the other day about switching theirs out. Yeah, so. yeah, asking if it was, uh, I mean, it's a really simple job. It it's is. pretty much the same on any truck. It's a 14 by 14 inch hole. Pull out the old, put in the new, positive and negative wire, you're good to go. We'll get that done today, or not today, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were thinking about doing it today, but then since we're going to be hanging out with our friends, we're not going to be doing that. I'm excited to visit and yeah it's you know that's one of the cool things out here when we are able to meet up with our friends we don't get to do it a lot but when we do we like to take advantage of it. Most of the time 99% of the time we are out here chasing the freight yeah. you know we're making moves or do waiting for the Qualcomm to go off or just trying to find a load you know that's what most most of the time we're doing so on the weekends when it all falls into place it's just really cool yeah that's the plan we're getting around waiting for them to get here they delivered I think we might have said this in the last vlog but they're like 90 miles from here they're gonna be heading up so they'll probably be here in a couple hours yep. and then we'll just have a nice nice day sounds good all right we'll check up with you guys tomorrow Finally got a load. Yay! We're in Lebec, California right now at the Flying J up on the Grapevine. We yep. got here yesterday. Yeah. We didn't do no clips yesterday because we just got some stuff done. Jason finally installed the other fan. In finally. The and of course, what do I do? I twist my back. Got to be more careful about that. Yeah. But it's done. Yeah, we got it up there. So our, our load don't pick up till tomorrow and we got a thousand miles to get to it. So we're getting ready to head out right now and we'll tell you guys all about the load. In the next vlog. In the next vlog. But <laughs> we want to talk about like, we've been out here in California six days now. Yeah, we we delivered <coughs> last Thursday and it's Wednesday now. So and almost it's Wednesday, a week, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's funny. I w I've been calling a bunch of agents, like agents I've never even heard of or worked with before and a lot of people are saying just you know freight's down you know the coronavirus has everything just wacky we're not getting stuff like just freight's down right now and 
We were even talking to another driver earlier this morning here, not for Lancer, I don't know who he drives for, but even he was saying all the freight coming out, it's real cheap out of here. Real cheap. A couple and of yeah. our other friends said We've seen that. a bunch of stuff on the low bore. I've seen a load as cheap as 15 cents. That's gross. That's too. gross. That would have been like nine cents to us. I'm like, no, it costs us at least 28 cents a mile to run. So we would be in the negative. Many. Yeah. yeah that's, so. no. But hey, that's that's what trucking is. You know, we have things that happen like this. It just throws economy and trucking out of whack. Mm -hmm. And you really have to be prepared for this kind of stuff. You we know, always say that. yeah. And, and I know people are going to probably gripe in our comments saying, <laughs> oh, you need to stop going to California. Yada, yada. California sucks. And, you know, I mean, we love coming out here. We do. We hate their politics, but we love the state. The, so there's some great people out here. There. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful state to come visit. It's, you know, long miles, <laughs> which we like to run. And, you know, it's just what happens in trucking. And you have to be able to roll with these punches. Yeah. And you really do. Sometimes you have to do the deadheading, like we're doing for this at a thousand miles. But we'll talk all about that. And, in the it's, and it's funny, it's company specific sometimes too, because yeah. our two friends that we hung out with that were both with FedEx, they both had like one or two, three loads lined up and they're running up and down the coast of California doing loads. Maybe so. they're doing pharmaceuticals for the coronavirus. <laughs> Probably, right? <laughs> FedEx does Probably. a lot of pharmaceuticals. Yeah, FedEx does. That's a lot of their type of business. You know, they do pharmaceuticals yeah. and stuff. So, yeah. you know, who knows? I mean, this is trucking. This is what we do. And in expediting, we fill it a little more just because we can't haul as big of loads. But we love what we do and we would never move to a tractor trailer so mm -mm. and that's why we love having this big sleeper because when we are sitting like this for six days we have everything we need yeah in yeah, the truck yeah don't have to go in to buy food you know we cook on the truck we have the bathroom now we're My set arm's getting tired <laughs> oh sorry this vlog was probably a little short but we're gonna end it here we'll pick up the next one telling you all about our next load should be some beautiful scenery as soon as we get off there. this camera here we're uh we're hitting out. The, we're out we're gone we're hitting the firing up the engine and we putting some miles on her putting yeah. california behind us that's right that's right so, so thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and tell our next video peace love and expediting Thank you.